the world tells us. Like, you watch TV, you listen to the music, you get on the internet. They say this, is that if you really love someone, you're going to have sex with someone. They, 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 you would never see it on a billboard. Literally, don't, don't be confused. You would never drive down Route 12 and see a billboard that says sex equals love. Wouldn't be there. But subliminally, it's being pushed down our systems that if you really love someone, you're going to strip down naked and get under the covers and have a little happy, 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 happy fun time with them, right? I mean, we're going to have naked fun. Naked fun. That's what we're going to do. Because why? I love you. <laughs> And young lady, do you really think that he loves you or that he loves being naked, right? Um, so there's a difference there. Can, can I just take a minute and prove to you that sex doesn't equal love? Can, can, I, can, can, I, can I get a hand? Yeah. Sex doesn't equal love. Trust me. When I was a little dude, actually when I lived in Pleasant Grove, my parents let me buy a dog. His name was Arnold. He's a little boxer dog. And I played with Arnold. I threw frisbee with Arnold. I threw the ball with Arnold. I took Arnold on walks. We, Arnold and I were everywhere. He was my little dude. On rainy nights in South Dallas, my parents would say, Kyle, because it's cold and it's rainy, you can bring Arnold in the house and let him sleep with you. Do you know what I never, ever did with Arnold? <laughs> I never had sex with my dog. Listen, give me a B-I-B-L-E, a Bible, and I will put my hand up on it and swear to you that I've never had sex with my dog. And listen, it would have been so convenient because he doesn't even wear clothes. <laughs> Easy. Okay, that's, that's gross, man. That's gross. That's bestiality. Let's talk about humans. A couple of weeks ago, I told you earlier that I was raised by my grandma. A couple of weeks ago, I saw my grandma. Guess what? I, I need some help right here. Can you help me out? But I saw my grandma. Come stand up. Stand up. When I saw my grandma, guess what I did first thing? I went to grandma and I gave her, not a side hug, I gave her a frontal hug. Like that. I know that hug was really good, that kiss was okay, but I would like to take you in the back room and have sex! <laughs> well, 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 once again, one more time, bring a Bible out, put my hand on the Bible, and I promise you, my whole life, I've lived 33 years now, almost 34, and I've never, ever had sex with my grandma or my dog. <laughs> promise. But does it change my love for those individuals? No, 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 no. So why did I tell you such an extreme illustration? Because I want you to see that you can have a boyfriend and girlfriend and not have sexual relationship. You can, what, 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 you, this guy likes to plug us up on stage all the time. You, you can go play putt putt, you can go bowling, you can go dancing, you can go watch a movie, you can go eat at Chili's, you can, you can do so many things fun that together you can yeah, yeah. You can do so many things together. And listen, 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 listen. You can even look someone in the eye and say, I love you. Because this 